Hey guys, and welcome back. First off, I am excited to announce that I hit 200,000 subscribers on YouTube and I'm thrilled. I remember when I hit 500 and I was, I was like, this is insane. So having it be over 200,000 people blows my mind, blows my mind. So thank you guys for being here. Thank you guys for subscribing. Thank you guys for watching my videos. If you're new here, hello, my name is Chloe Brown and I do hair and makeup stuff. Um, mostly recently since the pandemic, I've just been trying to post one video a month on here because no excuses, just lack of creativity. Okay, <laughs> just just gotta be honest. I'm, I'm trying, I haven't left you guys, but man, it is difficult. You, you I'm sure you understand. So today, I just got a brand new haircut. My hair is many inches shorter. It was down here and we went up. Um, I just wanted to do something fun and new for spring, going into summertime. I go into like what my haircut is, what colors, whatever in the video. So you'll just have to watch that and figure it out. But I'm gonna show you guys how I style my new hair. Yay! Okay, uh, people hate it when I talk and my intro is very long. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. Hi guys! Okay, yeah, my hair looks like a triangle. That is the thing with a short blunt bob. If you don't get any graduation, if you don't get any layers into it, this is what it's gonna dry like. Just like a triangle. Just know that going into it, a blunt bob is, it's not something you can't style. Um, I mean, unless you like, you know, doing the thing behind the ears and going out like that, totally fine. That's in right now, so that's good. You can even, you know, throw on a headband if you don't wanna do it and just do that cute little thing. Easy peasy. There are ways to go around it if you don't wanna style it. However, I love styling my hair. I absolutely love styling my hair. That's why I do what I do. And you guys love it too. You guys love all the tips and tricks that I've shared with you along the way with short hair. And so today I'm gonna get into that. Here we go. This I just blow dried. Like I didn't even really take a round brush at all. This is just how my hair wants to sit when it's cut like this. Now I already went ahead before I started this video and I flat ironed the very bottom sections. I did not do this, but everything under here is already done. And I curled, like I kind of put a bend to those to my neck. When my hair is this short, I use a flat iron and a 3 4 inch curling iron. Um, I really love this one. This one is great. This is the croc one. I also like this one, which is the Conair Pro ceramics tool one. You can buy this at Sally Beauty. I'll link both of them down below. Um, I don't have a coupon for the Sally Beauty one, but I do have a coupon for this one, as well as, you know, my ride or die flat iron. So we're gonna take this flat iron and we are just going to flat iron all of the bottoms, like really make them stick straight. This helps with it not flipping in or flipping out. A lot of people uh, were asking me yesterday in my DMs, like, how do you avoid flip out when you have your hair this short? Well, one, if, if you have flip out, then I suggest you get an undercut. But if you have your hair short enough, your neck is what causes the flip out. So if your hair is short enough, it won't flip out because it's, the neck isn't pushing the hair out. Now, if my hair was like an inch or two longer, I would have that flip out. So it kind of just depends on how, how short your hair is. Okay, I'm gonna take my three, four inch curling iron and we are just gonna add a bend right at the root and kind of just pull straight down while we are curling that. I'm not gonna curl every section down here because it is the bottom section. It's not really gonna be seen. We just want a little bit of movement. I also forgot to tell you that I have the Marcel option on, so I can just turn this really easily without having to turn the curling iron to curl my hair. I just turn the barrel or the little clamp. It makes it easy. The temperature on this is set to 370. Uh, it's the lowest temperature setting on this. Um, and then my flat iron is set to 350, 330, 330. I usually try to stay with my flat iron in between the 320 and 350 range. Um, I don't ever go up any higher than that. Now, if you wanna know about my cut, 
When I went in, I asked for a blunt bob to my chin. I didn't want any graduation. Graduation means like uh, angling, I guess. Like when you have an A-line. Like it's shorter back here, but it goes longer here. I wanted it completely straight. No layers were put into it. There was just a little texture cutting just at the ends to lighten up the load at the bottom. But other than that, no, nothing else. She just used the texturizing shears just at the ends of my hair. All right, going back in, we are flat ironing everything at the ends. I always start away from my face. And then on this section, I'm gonna add a curl that goes towards my face just to add that movement in here um, so everything kind of doesn't look like you're wearing, you've had a hat on all day and then you have that like same crease. Um, Cause if you do curl your hair all one way, it does crease the same. So we wanna break that up and we wanna have the curls look like it's more movement rather than you know just having a dent. I'm gonna add another one towards my face and then we'll meet in the middle in the back and start on the other side. Now I tend to have more hair on this side and that's because I sleep mostly on this side of my head. Um, I tend to do a few more curls on this side than I do this side. All right, we see there's starting to be movement. It's still pretty triangle, but we're gonna fix that later. Last section, we are going to just do the same thing. If you're curious about my hair color, I've done the same thing uh, since I started going to Emily. And we just do like the teasy highlights and then do a weave. So it's a teasy highlight, a weave, and then do a couple. I only do like the top section of my hair. There's barely anything under there. She does all face framing stuff. So all right here, all right here, the top section and then the back. And then it's just the teasy, the teasy highlights. She lifts it to a level nine and then we go in, I think it's with, everything's with a Redken Shades EQ. Uh, my root color is 4N. That's what matches my natural the best. And then I think the, the blonde color is 9G. There might be clear added in there. I'm not sure. I'll make sure to look at it and then I'll put it in the description. All right. There we go, done. So easy. Now say if something is a little bit too curly over here, then I'll just take my flat iron and just run it through just a little bit. Now we're just gonna take our little teasing comb. I'm just gonna add a little bit of loose tease back here. Nothing crazy, just, just a little bit to add some volume and then a little on the sides. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna add some texture spray in there. I'm gonna use um, High Tide by Sexy Hair. And then I'm gonna go in with Aveda's Control Force hairspray. Okay, here's my favorite thing about this hairstyle. Like I said before, Headbands are so fun. Isn't that so fun? I just, Sassy McSasserson. <laughs> I love it, love it, love it. I also picked up a couple from Walmart. That one, by the way, is from the Dollar Tree. But just adding that little va va voom, it also kind of makes your hair more voluminous on the sides. Also, take a little scrunchie. We're gonna keep all these face framing pieces down. Take just the top section of your hair. 
Now this I would never do on day one unless I'm like doing something because I'm like, I spent all my time curling my hair and now I'm just putting it up. But on day two, just add a little something in there. I also got these little cuties. Look how cute this one is. These are all from Walmart. I can't, I can't believe some of the Walmart stuff. It's just fantastic. This has a little bow on it. Cute, right? All right, let me do a 360 so you can see what it looks like all the way around. Um, I know, I know I've done this hairstyle many times before where I'm just like, it's the same technique. Straighten the ends, do the loose curl at the top. Could you use a one inch? Absolutely, it'll just be a little bit more loose um, the days after and you might need to manipulate the ends a little bit by taking your flat iron after you curl and then kind of bending it down. Uh, I personally like the three fourths inch to just have my curls be towards the top, not towards the end, if you know what I mean. All right, I'm gonna put this cutie in my hair for today. We're just gonna rock it like that. <laughs> All right, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I hope that you really liked it. I hope the tips and tricks kind of helped make the hairstyle less triangular, if you know what I mean. I hope to see you guys in my next video. We'll, we'll see you later. Okay, bye. <laughs> Gosh, I act like I haven't been doing this for a couple years. Okay.